Hello, my name is Elise, and I am from Harmony Schools. Today, I'll be demonstrating simple harmonic motion. Simple harmonic motion looks anything but simple, but it is both common and important. The panels on the side of a bus and a tall spire bothered by the winds both oscillate under these same principles. Guitar string vibrates with simple harmonic motion rather more tunefully. This brings us to an explanation of simple harmonic motion, an example being the oscillation of a weight on a spring. There are several parts to this. First of all, the movement must be symmetrical along a central point. The force which pulls it back to that point causes the acceleration. That force and the acceleration should be directly proportional to the displacement. Because the spring obeys Hooke's law, the force of the weight on the spring is proportional to the displacement on the spring. When the mass is pulled down a short distance, the spring is stretched from its equilibrium position. When released, it will oscillate about its equilibrium position. In this example, there are three forms of energy present. Kinetic energy, gravitational potential energy, and spring potential energy. In a perfect ideal system, the sum of these three would be constant. Also, theory predicts that there is a relationship between the spring constant, K, the period of oscillation, T, and mass, M, which is as follows. T equals 2 pi times the square root of M divided by K. Another great way to demonstrate simple harmonic motion and annoy everyone at the same time is by playing the end of a ruler. The lower the ruler, the deeper the note. Let's have a closer look at this oscillation. By turning the ruler on its side, we can look at it more carefully. If you look very hard and count very quickly, you can just about measure the time period from the point at which it is released and the time it takes to get back to that point. We change this time period completely if we add weights to the end of the ruler. Because the mass is larger and the force is the same, as we release the ruler, it vibrates more slowly. If we increase the mass larger by adding more coins, it vibrates slower still. Remember that acceleration is force divided by mass. Therefore, by increasing the mass, the acceleration is slower and the time to vibrate is larger. Now I will quickly run through a few key points. The motion will be simple harmonic if it is symmetrical, the force is directed towards the center, and the force is proportional to its displacement.